Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Full Circle with Mikali, and you know if it's a Thursday, then we have a few yummy things lined up for you. So we're going to be teaching you how to make some poached eggs with smashed avocados and tomatoes and uh, chef chris we will will be taking us through that and he's from the boma international hospitality college so let's take a look and learn as we go to nakula komacho what, what i'd like to show you today is 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 a it's a breakfast dish. It may it may come as quite a, a strange thing for people to eat, but this is it's quite a popular thing. Uh, quite healthy. We've got lo lots of good fats. We've got lots of good uh, uh, vegetables here. So what we're going to do today, we're going to make smashed avocado on sourdough bread, topped with poached eggs. This is a great bre breakfast dish. Plenty of protein which is super cheap. So this is quite, a, quite a, a cheap dish to make and it's quite fast. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And also I'm going to serve it with a few roasted baby tomatoes. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of chili into the avocado just to give it a little bit of fire. You don't have to, but I think it's good to wake you up in the morning with a little bit of fire. So, as I always say, here we have something called our mise en place, which if anybody has been following my segments, you will know that mise en place is basically the preparation we make before we start to cook something. If you have all your mise en place, if you have your preparation ready, cooking is so easy. But if you don't have something and you forget something, you know, it's going to be difficult. And, and certainly we teach our students that before they start any cooking, any cooking, they must have all the ingredients and the mise en place ready. And this will go through into the hotels and every chef will always have his mise en place ready. Because once the service starts and you get busy in your kitchen and you're on your section and you, you, you need everything around you, and if you haven't got something, it's going to give you problems. So we must have all our mise en place ready, which I have here. Now, a few processes we're going to do. We're going to learn how to make a poached egg. So I have some water here, we have a, some eggs here. But first, I'm going to get this pan hot. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil into the pan. I'm a big fan of olive oil. I worked in Spain for 20 years, so there they have the best olive oil you've ever tasted. So we're going to get the pan hot. We can add a little bit of chili. It's not necessary, but I'm going to add a little bit of chili, chili to the tomatoes as well. I said, it, I said we add to the avocado as well, but it will give the, the tomatoes a little bit of kick, which is, I guess is what we need. We need in the morning to wake, wake up. So we're going to add the chilies there, and then we're going to basically add the tomatoes. And all we want to do is start the tomatoes splitting. What will happen as they start to, to cook, they will start to bruise and split. I've got some nice uh, sea salt here. I love sea salt. Anybody that's been watching my segment will know how much I like sea salt. So you can see the tomatoes are starting to split open there. So we're not cooking the tomatoes really, we're just starting to warm them through. And I've got a little bit of thyme here that we're going to add a little bit of thyme to the tomatoes as well, just to give us, give us some flavour. So you can see that is going nicely there. Okay, and just to finish, I'm going to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Uh, balsamic vinegar coming from Modena in, in, in northern Italy. Uh, it's quite sweet. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little bit, and what we do, it will reduce down a little bit, and it will add another, another flavour to the tomatoes. You can see that, got a little bit of flame. The tomatoes are good. You can see how the tomatoes, the skin has started to split and started to come off. We're good with the tomatoes. Now, so we turn the gas off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to poach eggs. Now, the thing we need to remember, when we're poaching eggs, the water needs to be just below boiling point. It needs to be simmering, about 85 degrees. We're going to add some salt to the water and... The little trick for poached eggs is we're going to add a little bit of 
vinegar. The vinegar will help to coagulate the egg white and keep everything together. Now, to cook poached eggs, a great trick, first of all, don't, po don't put the egg directly into the water. Always, always have it in a container or a bowl so you can slide it inside the water. And the other key to this is you need to get the water spinning like this. It's going to be difficult to do too, but we'll try anyway. So we've got like a whirlpool here. So what will happen, we will put the egg in the middle, and then all the egg white should cover and go over the egg yolk. So I'm going to carefully pour it into the middle of the whirlpool there. And you can see that spinning around there. Okay. And then all the egg white will cover, cover the egg yolk. And I'm going to try and do another one. It will be difficult because I don't want to break this egg. But we can spin the water a little bit like that. And then we carefully put in like that. So we can cook two poached eggs. And you can see the eggs are very fresh because they're all keeping, they're all keeping together. They're all very firm. So the, if the eggs were old, the egg white would split out and you would have a lot of egg white around. But they're very, very fresh, the egg white. So that's good. That's good. So we're going to poach these eggs for about two or three minutes okay two or three minutes and we're just going to keep our eye on them if if the water starts to boil we'll turn the water down but we're good to go there about 85 ish degrees never you never want to boil poached eggs just simmer that's why it's called poaching the next thing we're going to take this beautiful avocado now it's very big the avocado so I'm going to cut it in half uh, I'm going to cut like this and then split the avocado like that. So we've got, I'm going to leave this, this in here. You will find, and I learned this trick a long time ago from a Mexican, that if you leave the, if you leave the, the stone in, it won't go brown, it won't oxidize. Okay? We wrap it in plastic and we'll keep this in the fridge. I have the avocado here. What I tend to do is with this knife, is just cut down like that carefully into little cubes and this is a great way of doing avocado and then you've got the little uh, you have your little pieces and then we're going to just put the avocado inside and it all comes out in little pieces now another good trick if you're not using the avocado straight away what you can actually do is take the stone and put inside the, the inside the avocado and it won't go brown Okay, another way of stopping avocado going brown, of course, is by adding a little bit of lemon juice, is what we're going to do in a moment. So we're just going to smash up the avocado. I want to put in first, we, we, we mentioned about chili. I'm going to put in a little bit of chili. It's up to you, however much you want to put in. As little or as, as much as you want. Remember, the fire is in the seed, so we should be good with that. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of lemon juice and then some seasoning or salt as well. Avocado, is, is, it, it needs salt, it, otherwise it doesn't taste good. A little trick, roll your lemon like that and then you will get more, you will get more juice out of it when you want to actually juice it. So I'm going to cut the lemon in half like that. Take a fork. Be careful we don't get the seeds. Sometimes you get the seeds. Take the seeds out. And then just put your fork in like that. And we just squeeze in. And you can see I've got a, a seed in there. A little bit of lemon juice. And then my sea salt like that. A little bit of salt. Like so. And then we're just going to smash it. Just going to break it up. Doesn't have to be like guacamole that is super pure. Just smash it like that to give it some, and keep some texture. We need to keep our eye on our, on our eggs are looking good here. As I say, this is quite a simple, quick dish. Nothing complicated. But a couple of skills that you need to do. One of them is being able to make a poached egg. So there we have the avocado. We're going to taste it just to check that seasoning is good. 
Mm. That's nice. Nice fresh taste. Got a little bit of kick of the chilli, which is good. We're happy with that. Then, so you can see the poached egg, it's just moving like that. That's what we need. We need that movement so it's not overcooked. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take those off the gas for a minute because I want to make the sourdough bread. You don't have to use sourdough. You can use any bread you want. It's just that sourdough has that sour flavor that goes very well with the avocado. So that's what we're going to use. So we're looking good there. So we have a nice clean plate. And what we want to do is put the dish together. So you can see, put that there. I'm going to clean the table. There we have a nice piece of bread. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this out, the, the bread, I think, in half like that. Okay, so we're going to put, we have two, two, uh, two pieces. My obsession with beautiful olive oil. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on there. We're going to take the avocado, one full avocado you're quite welcome to use. We're just going to use the half today because we're only making one portion. Okay. So let's not waste that avocado. So we just spread it. I mean, you can have the, the, the avocado on toast like this as it is. This is very popular breakfast nowadays in, certainly in in the US, in Europe, many, many people will eat this for breakfast. It's quite trendy and quite nice. I'm going to take the poached eggs. Now, let's take the pan to the plate and then we're not spilling things everywhere. So I'm going to take the poached eggs out of the water. Let them drain and you can see these are beautiful poached eggs. And we'll let the water come out because we don't want water in the avocado. And again, you can see the egg is just, just, it will have a little bit of liquid inside, but that's just nice, wobbling and nicely cooked. So we put that one egg on there like that. And then we turn it around. And then you put the next egg on the other, on the other piece of avocado like so. Then... We have our tomatoes here. So we have these nice cherry tomatoes, which are warm. And these will add a little bit of, of color around. And you can see, just by putting these beautiful tomatoes, this is an amazing, okay? So now, now we're going to start to decorate. So we've got these tomatoes there. We're going to put on, I have uh, some cress here. This is mustard cress, micro herbs. We use a lot nowadays in the kitchen. Just going to sprinkle on top like that. Remember, we eat with our eyes, mainly. A couple of other things just to decorate. Again, my obsession with olive oil, but olive oil is great for many things. And one of the things is decorating. So we're just going to... Drip around a little bit of olive oil like that. Okay. And then we finish with just a little bit of lemon juice. I don't want to get any seeds in it, so I need to be careful. So we'll just put a little bit of lemon juice. You see, the first one I get a seed in, I have to take that out. A little bit of lemon juice around and take away the seeds. And then finally, something that we like to do, a little chefy trick, is a little bit of salt on top of the eggs and then on top of the tomato. We clean the plate. So, nice, quick, healthy breakfast dish. We have smashed avocado on sourdough bread with roasted vine tomatoes and two nicely poached eggs. Enjoy your breakfast.
how yummy does that look my goodness that was uh, poached eggs with smashed avocados and tomatoes and chef chris button took us through the whole process and i hope you learned how to do it and you're gonna take some time and do that for yourself for your loved one you know just because just because we put it out there for you and chef chris button is the head of culinary arts at the bomber international hospitality college and he gives us some really amazing recipes here and there yeah yeah mimi you need jaribu I will try. I will look for those small, small tomatoes. I think everything else I have. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I'm looking forward to an amazing show tomorrow as well. To my team that has made this um, program possible, this production possible, the Santeni Sana. And for you for tuning in every single morning, Nashkuru Sana. Let's do this all over again tomorrow from me, Full Circle with Mikali and the team. Adios. Have a good day. <laughs>